Hey guys, today we're going to be installing our e-brake button. All we got to do is lift up the e-brake, twist off the button, and put our new one on. So grab yourself a pair of vice grips. Carefully grab onto that button, and then just start turning it. You may have to make sure nothing's in the way here, but this is so simple. After you have the majority done, you can kind of take your finger and do the rest. Just keep in mind, this is going to damage your factory button. You'll most likely not be able to reuse this. It's probably going to get scratched up and you're not going to want to ever reuse this. But this is a fairly cheap thing if you ever need one. Then we're going to take our new button here and we're going to basically just slide that in and start to thread that on just how the OEM one was. Now this one, we're gonna just hand tighten it. Uh, this thing's not gonna loosen itself, so just get it really hand tight. The last thing you wanna do is damage the finish on this. But there it is, just like that guys. We have a fancy new button, a little drift button on our e-brake, so there it is. So another great thing about these e-brake buttons is if you actually track your car, you take it out drifting on the weekends or something, and you're out driving around, you know, you're rowing through gears, going into a corner, and you want to just kind of pull the e-brake up a little bit, initiate your drift, and then drop the e-brake, well, it's stuck. you got to lift up, push the button, and drop it down. Or you have to try and hold your button, and that can be difficult to do while you're trying to switch back and forth between the gear knob. It's very hard to try and drift a car when the e-brake locks on you. So, a thing that you can do... You replace your factory button with one of these. You can unscrew it. You can remove your spring. You can screw it back in. And so let's check out what that just did. We can push our button in, drop the e-brake. We're all good. We're coming around a corner. We want to pull into a drift and we just want to like get a quick e-brake. Well, look, it no longer locks. So you can use your e-brake to initiate a drift or however you want to use it and it's not going to lock on you. It's going to stay in perfect position when you're ready to park the car and call it a day. You can pull up on this, push up on the button, and it's locked. It's not going anywhere. Or you can keep your factory spring around and if you have a track day and you want to do that, you can. And that way you don't have any unwanted rattling or anything like that while you're daily driving the car. So, this is a great option, great mod, very cheap. Check it out, guys. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today's video, and we'll see you in the next one.